Okay, folks, up to this point we have proceeded from a logical progression and not from the, from the fly all the way back to, to the fly line. The last and final knot we must show you is one in which we're going to secure our backing to the fly line. And for those who are complete novices to the sport of fly fishing, backing is a material, it's usually 20 or 30 pound test dacrim, which is applied to a reel before the fly line. We never apply our fly line directly to the fly reel for this reason. These fly lines are limited in length, usually about 80 feet or so, depending on the manufacturer. And we happen to hook a fish who wants to get more than 80 feet away from us, well, the game's over because we just have run out of line. So backing more or less is our insurance that if a fish wants to run more than 80 feet, we can still fight that fish. We have a special knot for this purpose because when that fish is running, if we're lucky enough to hook a fish who's big enough to take us into our backing, he's going to be taking his fly line out very rapidly at a high rate of speed and we need a knot that's very streamlined that's going to slide through the guides quite easily. And the knot we're going to use for that is called the Albright knot. In my left hand, I have pinched the backing, which is already attached to my reel. And in my right hand is the end of our 80-foot fly line, which we're going to attach this backing to. And what I'm going to do with that end of that fly line is just loop it over. It's not going to be folded in any other way except just as I said, looped over. And I'm going to make a loop about the size of my little finger now. From there, I will proceed to take the backing, which is in my left hand, and push that backing up through that loop and pull through about five or six inches of backing material. Right there we have it. And now I'm going to take my left hand and just re-pinch everything at the head of that loop and have my right hand come in and re-pinch it again so everything perfectly aligned between the thumb and forefinger of my right hand. I have my five inches of backing pointing down. Now I'm now going to grab that with my left hand and hold it more or less perpendicular to the thumb and forefinger of my right hand and wrap it seven times away from my thumb and forefinger and towards the loop and in the process of doing that I'm wrapping over top the loop as well as the piece of backing. Now, when we originally started this knot, we pushed that backing up through the loop. I've completed my seventh turn. I will now take the tag end of this backing and push it down through that loop. At this point, I can let go. And you can see, well, you think that's a rather sloppy knot. It is at this point. To make this knot look very nice, we're going to very slowly pull the long end of our back nets attached to our reel, and you can see what's happening. Those wraps are starting to come together nice and neat, and slow is the word because if we pull too tight at this point, we're going to bump back and wraps into that press of coating on the fly line, and we're not going to be able to slide it. They're still nice and neat. I'm pulling very slowly, and now to speed up the process a little bit, I'm going to take my thumb and forefinger and just slide those wraps and close up that loop till just, just about a 32nd of an inch of fly line is showing. Just a little bit. And at this point, you can really bear hard down on a knot. You can pull this so hard, in fact, that your back and your fly line is actually going to break before this knot well, because this is one of the strongest knots there is. In fact, we're going to pull this so tight that we're actually going to use the aid of a pair of forceps to pull on that tag end of that backing to pull this knot tight because we want a very, very streamlined knot. You can see how hard I'm pulling. using a lot of tension here. Now it's time to clip the tag end. So I'm going to use my little clipper here and I'm going to clip the tag end of the backing and turn around to the other end of the knot. And I'm going to clip this tag end of fly line. But you can see it's a very streamlined knot that will go through the guides with very little friction.